Hey there, welcome to Five on Food. And today, very quickly, we are going over the Tahoe Trail Bar. They actually call it a trail bar. So obviously it's supposed to be made for the trail, right? Let's check it out. Um, so in five minutes, I know I've already done a uh, kind of broad overview of all the different types, some of the different types, not all, some of the different types of uh, snack bars that are out there. So uh, four or five on food, I will occasionally be going into a, a slightly deeper dive of, uh, of the actual snack bars and things, because they are all a little bit different and come with their own advantages, disadvantages, and things like that. So I decided to start with the Tahoe Trail Bar since I live close to Tahoe. Uh, this one gives you 220 calories per serving, so that's not too bad. Um, obviously, that's not going to get you a full meal, but these these bars are supposed to be supplementary. You shouldn't be using them as a full meal. And when I do uh, my review on the Laura bar, I'm going to try and remember to do a kind of interesting story of some backpackers I ran into up in the Sierras. Wow. Anyway, so these aren't supposed to be a meal. These should be your supplements. These are like snacks in between meals, something you have along with your meal as like an extra treat to pump up some extra calories if you need to, things like that. Um, so 220 calories, that's pretty good for a snack. Uh, when you're out there, uh, for, for some people, you're like, wow, that's these are supposed to be quote unquote healthy and that's a lot of calories for a, for a snack and things like that. Okay, but remember, we're talking about hikers, hiking, you're doing a lot of exercise, especially if you're through hiking. You're hiking every day, almost every day. Um, sometimes a lot of these through hikers, 20, 25 miles a day and things like that. Even day hikers, you're doing lots of exercise. So 220 calories, that's a good snack, snack to try and keep that blood sugar level, that energy level up for you, things like that. Um, you're going to get 30 grams of carbs from this. So that's good energy right there. That's 10% of your daily alliance allow alliance uh, allowance and things like that so for one one thing so some of the uh physical stuff is this is one of those bars that is not dry and crumbly it is chewy this particular one is mango coconut and i'm shooting this at breakfast time so it's a good little supplement to my breakfast um, and you can do that. This could be, you could have a couple of these for your breakfast, maybe even sneak one in at lunch, things like that. So on the trail, they work good. That's good. But as I was saying, this is not a dry crumbly bar like some of them are, which I actually prefer. The downside to that is these would be slightly, that's my chicken singing her egg song, by the way, in the background. I don't know if it comes up on the mic, but it's loud and clear in my ears. She's letting me know she's laid an egg. That's awesome, by the way, because that's also going to be breakfast. Anyway, I prefer the chewy ones to the dry ones that just mess up my mouth and things like that. Uh, but the downside is these are going to be slightly heavier because they are not dry, dehydrated food. They are, you know, they have some weight to them and things like that. Okay. They taste good too. So the Tahoe Trail Bar, I like it. I don't know how far and wide they are distributed compared to a lot of other trail bars because again, Tahoe is a local place to me. It's a few hours away. They are distributed by a company from Reno. So I don't know if they're my local area only. I don't know if they're national, maybe statewide. I don't have a clue. If you can find them in your stores, though, I do recommend them for day hiking snacks, supplements when you're backpacking on your to your to your other meals. Like I say, I could have like a couple of packets of oatmeal and one of these in the morning, and there's breakfast. I'm I'm pretty much set. Uh, or maybe a couple of things of oatmeal, and then once I'm on the trail, I have one of these in my uh, hip pocket. And things like that. So a couple of hours later, as I've gone a, a few miles and things like that in the morning, I can pull that out as a, as a morning supplement snack. Things like that. So they work pretty well. I like their taste. Again, when you're talking about food, it's a subjective thing. So there. So I'll give the Tahoe Trail Bar 
four stars. Um, again, slightly in, slight increase in weight because they are not dehydrated or dry crumbly bars. Um, they, they, they are soft, chewy bars, which I personally prefer. They come in good flavors, and uh, they have enough calories and carbs to, to really be a good snack and all that kind of thing. So that's five on food. I got to go take care of this chicken because she's upset that I'm not paying attention to her egg song. I'll catch you later.